Families who live along the I-4 Ultimate Project say they are encountering a new problem, flooding. They say after recent heavy rainfall, water has inched up a little too close to their front doors. So they turn to News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval to help them get results. This cell phone video was taken at the beginning of August in Christine Two-Tone's front yard. I was going to throw out the garbage and I opened the door and I see glass, like it's glass. And I said, what is this? And I, I, I went to put one foot out and I see it's water. You can see that water had overflowed the culverts and flooded the entire street. It uh, lessened as we come down the block. Two-Tone says she believes that flooding was caused by runoff from the ultimate I-4 project, which is under construction less than a block away from her home. She says she contacted I-4 contractor SGL and the city of Orlando for help and got nowhere. So she turned to News 6. I just, I see the results that, you, that your uh, problem solvers get. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what, uh, because I watch your news station, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to call them. We got the Florida Department of Transportation involved. Their investigation showed I-4 Ultimate crews encountered mulch, tree branches, and trash blocking a drainage culvert. The department and the project team will continue to monitor the area for potential drainage concerns, as well as work with local partners to help better accommodate drainage in the area, a spokesperson said. Four weeks later, it happened again. Two-Tone sent these pictures after a heavy rain at the beginning of September. Again, water covered the roadway in her neighbor's yards. And again, New Six contacted FDOT, which started another investigation. Two-Tone is not alone when it comes to growing pains with I-4. I represent 14 plaintiffs who filed a lawsuit against SGL for property damage and nuisance claims. Luisa Tarasova's clients include a homeowner we told you about three years ago, who claims the vibrations rattling these dishes from I-4 construction work right there also cracked her walls. And another homeowner who claims the I-4 Ultimate Project caused their house to lean. Do you feel confident in your ability to prove cause and effect? I do, I do. And the number one piece of evidence that we have is every plaintiff is each other's eyewitness in this story, right? What happened to them happened to their neighbors and they can testify on behalf of each other. Now, Christine Tutone has not filed a lawsuit, but she does want to get results, and we are helping her get those results. The Florida Department of Transportation says they are now sending crews to Tutone's neighborhood after each heavy rain to pinpoint exactly where the flooding is starting. We're going to be following up with them to see what they find out. In the newsroom, Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6.